When you think about crazy car chases on the streets, what thrills you the most? Is it the tension as the police chase down the criminals or the excitement of witnessing unexpected actions? The chases are not just races of speed, but also stories of quick decisions, lurking dangers, and unimaginable consequences. Let's explore this dramatic world where every passing second can change the fate of many people. On March 22, 2022, deputies from the Florence County Sheriff's Office attempted to stop a pickup truck for a traffic violation on northbound I-95 near mile marker 165. When the driver was asked to step out of the vehicle, the passenger suddenly jumped into the driver's seat and boldly accelerated away, leading to a tense chase. Tragically, the pursuit ended when the pickup truck abruptly turned onto the 169 exit ramp at TV Road and violently rear-ended a tractor trailer, causing the driver of the pickup truck to not survive this accident. Fortunately, no officers were injured and county property was undamaged, serving as a stark reminder of the importance of obeying traffic laws to ensure everyone's safety on the road. On July 25th, 2024, a suspenseful incident occurred when the Dallas Police Department's North Central Crime Response Team discovered a stolen red GMC pickup truck in the area of 9,600 Gulf Lakes Trail. As officers attempted to stop the vehicle, the driver, 21-year-old Damon Price, suddenly accelerated, crashing into a Chevy Tahoe. The situation escalated when 17-year-old Eric Lampkin Scarborough fled the vehicle with a handgun, prompting Officer Travis Marks to open fire. Despite being hit, Lampkin Scarborough continued to run away. The chase ended with the suspects being apprehended and four weapons recovered. At approximately 4.03 p.m. on March 14, 2024, Deputy A. Brady attempted to stop a silver Mercedes-Benz SUV with license plate FL Lead 90 in the 4,800 block of 41st Street heading westbound. Prior to the stop, the patrol license plate reader alerted that the license plate belonged to a green Nissan with a suspended driver's license. As Deputy Brady tried to stop the vehicle, the driver, Naffer TTT Dutes, turned north onto 49th Avenue and sped up, running multiple stop signs in residential intersections. 
During the pursuit, Dutes continued driving in the opposite lane on 43rd Avenue, endangering surrounding traffic. Deputy Brady executed a pit maneuver, and the SUV ended up stuck in a ditch in the 4000 block of 43rd Avenue. The public safety dispatch team confirmed that Dutes' driver's license had been suspended multiple times and had multiple convictions for driving without a license. These events provided sufficient grounds to charge Nafertiti T. Dutes with evading police and driving with a suspended license. A tense police chase in Fort Lauderdale, Florida, when five adventurous teens in an Infinity QX60 stole a car from a garage quickly turned into a street tragedy. After crashing into a cyclist, these teenagers continued to weave through traffic during rush hour, showing recklessness and thoughtlessness. Their luck quickly ran out when they collided with a Honda CRV, causing the Infiniti to roll over catastrophically and crash into a police patrol car. The suspects were immediately detained by the police, Around 4.30 a.m., a suspect driving a white pickup truck sparked a chase after ramming into a police patrol car, causing minor injuries to two officers. She fled onto Highway 405, driving in the wrong lane at over 80 miles per hour, hitting at least three cars and a semi-truck in a chain reaction crash. Down, swerves in and out traffic. They're, it's a pit maneuver. They're doing the pit maneuver. They want to stop this. This woman is dangerous. We don't see a pit maneuver often on the freeway. The two LAPD officers have already been hurt. They're doing everything in their power to get, uh, we don't know how badly, but you very seldom see this. This is how badly they want to take this woman into custody. You can see the patrol car was damaged there. Extremely dangerous matter. Here they go once again. They're going to try and stop this. Boy, look at the way the van swerved to the right. Now they've got it spun out. Wow. If she continues, though, she's going to go head on into the officers. The vehicle with her? We don't believe so. This is incredible. We don't believe so, but we don't know for certain. It's hard to tell because you can't get inside that van. But she is just flooring it right now, getting as much power to that vehicle as possible. And it's just spinning around as goal. And she can't really continue on. It looks like now they may be able to pin her and get her stuck get her uh, in between some of the patrol cars, but now she's going southbound and the damage to the van, she's lost control. Oh, oh boy, head on into oh that boy. car. No. Yep. There you go, we hate to see this. We hate to see innocent people get hurt, but we're looking at it right now. Such a, a, a difficult pursuit to stop right. and to get around here on the- Shortly after the crash, police quickly restrained and arrested the suspect. Although no innocent drivers were seriously hurt, one was taken to the hospital while the two injured officers were treated and released. Oh, oh my goodness, I can't believe we just saw that. Mm. That was horrible. This, yeah, we see one person get out of their vehicle. Two vehicles uh, at least hit head yeah. on, it looks like. Oh. People are gonna be hurt yeah. here. This was such She's climbing a out now, looks like, or somebody's climbing out. Yeah, oh my goodness, this was such oh. a, a dangerous pursuit. And now we see innocent people have been hurt. Uh, and we're gonna try and re-rack some of that footage, but it's one of the craziest pursuits I've seen with a vehicle spinning around in all sorts of directions, trying to get away from the police mm. after more. Oh, there she is right there, she's yeah. up. At 8.39 p.m. on April 13th, 2024, Pasadena Police Department officers approached a white pickup truck parked facing the wrong direction on Hudson Street. Is it nothing legal on the curb? No. Is it okay we try to just make sure? No, no. No? Okay. So 
While investigating, the driver suddenly sped away, nearly hitting an officer, leading to a short pursuit. You're gonna get fucking shot. You're gonna get fucking shot. 35 hold the air. Got one at gunpoint. He's trying to run me over. Hey, you're gonna get fucking shot, dude. You're gonna get fucking shot. Quit, stop the fuck car. I swear to God, I'll fucking shoot you. I swear to God, I'll fucking shoot you. I swear to God, I'll fucking shoot you. Turn off the car. Turn off the car. No, turn off the car, dude. Stop, stop, stop. Oh, shit. You're gonna get fucking shot. You're gonna get fucking shot. 35 hold the air. Got one at gunpoint. He's trying to run me over. Hey, you're gonna get fucking shot, dude. You're gonna get fucking shot. Quit, stop the fuck car. I swear to God, I'll fucking shoot you. I swear to God, I'll fucking Today shoot four. you. I swear to God, I'll fucking shoot you. Go three back. Turn up the car. Sorry, run over to officer. Okay, we're gonna be in pursuit. Stand by. Okay, we're still uh, southbound Hudson. Breaking into two. Coming up to uh, Lake. Okay, he TC'd into residence. Here, 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 here. Diving, diving. When police located him, he resisted arrest fiercely. As a K-9 officer engaged, the suspect drew a handgun and refused to comply, resulting in a shooting. The suspect was injured and did not survive despite medical aid. No officers were harmed in the incident, and a handgun was recovered at the scene. Hey, he's in the, he jumped the backyard, got a dog deployed, uh, no bite. He's in the backyard, trying to set up a containment, get somebody to lake. Hey, go to lake, go to lake. Yeah, go to lake. Let me shoot him! Police department, get on the ground! Fuss, fuss, fuss! Fuss, fuss, fuss! Stop, stop, stop! Hold on, slow hey, down. Hey, put your hands to your side! All right, let me get a contact team, team, arrest him. Walk towards me! Hold on, hold on. Walk towards me! Bring my dog to me! Bring my dog to me! Hold on, behind lethal. Let me... All right, so everybody hold your positions. Because if he's going back up there. All right, give me a lethal cover. I need a lethal. Revere. On December 3rd, 2021, Ohio police pursued a stolen vehicle driven by 19-year-old J. Marlon Romeo Hayes after he was spotted speeding and endangering others. Hayes, with a criminal history of theft, drug trafficking, and violence, had carjacked and shot the truck's owner before fleeing with an accomplice. One headlight, he's doing about 80. He's swerving in my lane. The intense chase ended in tragedy when Hayes crashed into an elderly couple, injuring them and sparking community outrage. Hayes faced over 30 charges and received a severe 71.5-year prison sentence under the reagan tokes Act, highlighting the danger these daring crimes pose to society. Hayes's accomplice received an 18-year sentence, while the elderly victims decided to sue the police over the harrowing accident. Stand by for me. Oh. Hold on. Oh, man. I got... I'm not Keep your hands where I can see them. Hey, let me see your hands. I don't give a That's your problem. Okay, leave as long as you keep them hands right there. Where's the gun at? Don't point. Don't reach for it. Just tell... Don't look at it. Look out that way. Keep your hands right there. You need them right down on that car if you have to, but you do not bring them inside that car. Are you in pain? Yeah. Cover him, yeah. cover him. What's cover that? the driver, cover the driver. Wow. Maybe you should just give up next time. I want to drive. Or maybe you should whack him in his head. On February 18th, 2024, a daring group of teenagers broke into a luxury car dealership in Waukesha, Wisconsin, stealing nine high-end cars valued at a total of $583,000. Shortly after the theft, police quickly discovered and encountered the convoy of stolen cars, leading to a dramatic 40-mile chase. I'm assuming these are all the cars right here. 
Said today's for chasing like five luxury vehicles, high end vehicles, white SUVs, two of them. Uh, we're getting uh, 894 southbound coming up on Lincoln. One of them is Adam John Henry 4037. Adam John Henry 4037. All these uh, white SUVs coming your way. Stick deployment, were you successful? Did you confirm that they hit? Negative, this is bad, but it's good. But definitely flat tire on the Range Rover. Slow on speed, tire's gonna come, come off, gonna blow. Alright, this Range Rover lost all its rubber. This one's slowing down, I'm gonna stick with that one, but the other one is slowing down with it. Need some squads up here. I'm gonna go for a pit here shortly. They're gonna bail, they're gonna bail. That other sheriff, watch that other one in front of it. There's other Range Rover slowing down to cover for this car. I think it's single loaded, black male driver. Still southbound, coming up on exit 322, Ryan. Losing a lot of debris from that back left tire. Speeds are at 100. Authorities finally managed to stop one of the stolen cars. Investigators suspect the teens are linked to a Chicago-based theft ring targeting high-end vehicles across southeastern Wisconsin. The boldness and adventure of this group of teenagers not only shocked the community, but also sounded the alarm about the increase in car theft in the area. Hands up, you big car! I will you! I will shoot you! Get a window break! Window break! Come here! Get out! Don't you move! Don't! At 8.59 p.m. on October 15, 2024, Tima Communications received an emergency call from the Sherwood Police Department regarding a car chase heading west on I-40. Officers Corbin Freeman and Robert Plyler immediately moved to I-30, where the car was speeding through a construction zone on the Arkansas River Bridge. At the intersection of I-630EB and I-30WB, they joined the pursuit with heightened tension. After a successful technical intervention to stop the car, they pinned the car but driver Jordan Norris refused to get out. When officers confronted him and pulled him out through the window, a member of the team was injured in the left pinky finger. After subduing Norris and transporting the vehicle to the police department, officers drove to Baptist Health Medical Center for treatment, where a broken finger was determined to have been sustained. Images from the scene and the injuries are still haunting, capturing a dramatic and tense night.
A grey 2021 Volkswagen Tiguan fled from the MOPD at high speed, ignoring stop signals at a controlled intersection with County Trunk Highway AB. Continuing east on Femrite Doctor, the car lost control and crashed into a large tree on the north side of Femrite Doctor. After the accident, police found an open bottle of alcohol inside, indicating that the driver may have been driving under the influence. This heartbreaking incident led to the tragic fate of all three occupants of the vehicle, Ajaya Ray, Rashad Nelson, and Arson Willis. The catastrophic accident on January 3rd not only shocked the community, but also prompted the police department to review and adjust temporary policies to prevent similar tragedies in the future. Check a pulse. Hey, you alive? He's try to pull him out. Try to pull him out of the car if you can. I, I look at his legs. Oh yeah, in no, there. he can't work. We're, we're not going to be able to get him out. 8535, he's trapped in the vehicle. A dramatic chase has been released that left many breathless as video footage captured the incident on a busy Florida highway on May 19th. Authorities were chasing five reckless teenagers who were attempting to steal a car from Fort Lauderdale. Dashcam footage from the Florida Highway Patrol recorded every tense moment as the SUV sped down I-95. Just minutes later, the situation turned violent when the driver lost control, causing the SUV to flip into the air and crash into a wall. Landing upside down in a scene of devastation, the car was completely destroyed, stopping in front of the FHP cruiser, making anyone who witnessed it shudder. Dot. Although the teenagers suffered serious injuries, they survived, serving as a stark lesson about the severe consequences of reckless actions. A dramatic chase unfolded when a car attempted to flee from the police, prompting law enforcement to engage in a high-speed pursuit. The vehicle raced down the streets, reaching an incredible speed of up to 130 miles per hour, delivering heart-stopping action.
Ultimately, a perfect PIT maneuver by the police brought the car to a dramatic stop, ending the dangerous chase and ensuring the safety of other vehicles on the road. This decisive action showcased the professionalism and skill of law enforcement in such critical situations. On Wednesday night, a high-speed chase unfolded as two theft suspects, Jakari Arnold and Devada Hines, tried to escape police through Hillsborough County. Arnold, driving a white Dodge Durango, swerved dangerously at speeds over 100 miles per hour, forcing police to follow closely without being able to execute a pit maneuver immediately. As the vehicle turned onto US Highway 98, it struck the curb and nearly caused a horrific collision with oncoming traffic. The pursuit peaked when police finally succeeded in executing a pity maneuver, flipping the SUV onto the shoulder. Upon searching the scene, police discovered 70 credit cards, driver's licenses, and other personal documents inside the vehicle, revealing the scale of the theft operation the two suspects were running. Arnold and Hines were both arrested immediately, bringing this breathless pursuit to a close. We all know police work isn't easy, especially when faced with unexpected situations on the road. Let's see what they do to deal with violators. On April 25th, 2024, police were enforcing traffic laws on State Road 52 at Kent Grove Road. A white Nissan Altima sped past at an estimated 100 miles per hour in a 45 miles per hour zone. The chase began. He drove recklessly on the road at high speed, running red lights as if he deliberately disregarded the safety of those around him. Sergeant Howard activated his lights and sirens, but the suspect didn't stop. The police then performed the first pit on the vehicle. Once the vehicle was stopped, the suspect resisted arrest and aggressively kicked the police vehicle. He was then restrained and faced many different charges.
A dramatic pursuit ensued as police pursued a suspect vehicle at high speeds. On July 5th, 2024, just after 2 a.m., Cobb County Police requested the assistance of the Atlanta Police Department's Elite Ace Unit to chase a wanted individual on I-285. During the Cobb County pursuit, the fleeing suspect caused a collision when he rammed into a police cruiser. After this collision, the police performed a successful PIT maneuver, forcing the suspect's vehicle out of control. However, Instead of surrendering, the suspect attempted to flee into the woods next to the highway. Officers were able to quickly apprehend the suspect with the aid of a taser. The suspect was identified as 28-year-old Jarrett Sharp. He has been accused of various crimes.